Welcome to Switched On Schoolhouse Pre-Algebra. In Pre-Algebra, your students will study units that cover pre-algebra and geometry concepts such as the real number system, modeling problems with rational numbers, more with functions, plane geometry, data analysis, and much more. Now let's take a look at a pre-algebra lesson to see how topics like these are covered. In a unit entitled The Real Number System, let's look at a lesson called Subsets of the Real Number System. Most lessons begin with a brief introduction and a list of goals or objectives for the lesson. These objectives help students stay focused on important lesson content and provide parents with an effective way to measure mastery of lesson content. The objectives for this lesson are classify numbers and identify irrational numbers. At the beginning of most lessons, students will also encounter a list of vocabulary words that will be used throughout the lesson. We've included review and reinforcement activities to encourage mastery of these important words. For example, students can hear the correct pronunciation of each word. Infinite. Irrational number. A Vocabulary Games Arcade provides additional practice designed to help students to learn the spelling and definitions for the vocabulary from the lesson. Spell the word Real Number R E A L N U M B E R Yes! Flashcards provides a fun way for students to review the definitions for the vocabulary words. Here's a sample. After this introductory material, your student moves independently through the lesson, reading the text-based instruction and utilizing the multimedia features that have been provided. Several helpful tools have been included in Alpha Omega Homeschool courses to enhance your students' learning environment and to promote greater understanding for students with a variety of learning styles. Auditory learners may benefit from hearing text read aloud as they follow along. Students select a portion of text and utilize the text-to-speech tool to read the text. A number of customization options allow students to personalize their use of the text-to-speech feature. A highlighting feature allows students to use highlighter colors to highlight important text in the lesson as they study. Highlighted portions are saved when a student leaves the lesson, making it possible for them to come back later to study the highlighted passages. Math can be a difficult subject to teach, but Alpha Omega computer-based courses provide text-based instruction interspersed with multimedia examples of difficult-to-grasp skills to assist parents in meeting the academic needs of even their most math-challenged students. Let's click through a series of animations that will help your student understand the difference between rational numbers whole numbers, real numbers, and more. The set of natural numbers is a subset of the whole numbers, which is a subset of the real numbers. The set of natural numbers is a subset of the whole numbers, which is a subset of the integers, which is a subset of the real numbers. The set of natural numbers is a subset of the whole numbers, which is a subset of the integers, which is a subset of the rational numbers, which is a subset of the real numbers. As students continue through the text of the lesson, plenty of examples and solutions provide thorough instruction in the application of math concepts. 
Let's take a look at this interactive review. And finally, let's take a look at how the irrational numbers are related to other sets of numbers. The set of irrational numbers is a subset of the real numbers. At the end of the lesson, your student is presented with a series of questions that provide a review of lesson content. If the lesson contains multiple sections, after completing section 1, the student Good continues answer. to the next section, reading the text-based instruction and answering the remaining questions. Questions are presented in a variety of formats. Answers are automatically saved as the student works through the questions, with 85 to 90 percent of student work being graded immediately by the program. A student Good is answer. given the opportunity to reattempt questions that were answered incorrectly the first time through the lesson. The lesson is complete when the student has answered all questions correctly or has exhausted his allowed attempts.